What's happening? Salute YouTube, salute YouTube, salute YouTube. What the deal is, man. Um, just want to do a real quick video. First of all, I want to say congratulations to Errol Spence. You know what I'm saying? I think the whole world, the whole boxing world especially, needs to slow down take more than just a day or two and really allow themselves to appreciate the comeback story of Errol Spence. I feel like people want to go on to the next too quick without really stopping to appreciate the motivation and inspiration that should have been provided by everything we've been through this year where so many people feel like they can't cope and to see what this young man was able to survive come back and establish establish himself as a dominant welterweight champion should be motivational inspirational and highly appreciated also I want to say Danny Garcia proved to be a worthy opponent fought to the end outclassed definitely did not have enough arsenal and also don't want to forget what Angel Garcia said that unlike Errol Spence his son doesn't drink and drive and you know he's dedicated 100% to the sport he don't you know get out of shape and I'm not going to forget what Angel Garcia said when he said he looked into the soul he, he's able to read into people's soul and he looked into the soul of Errol Spence and he saw a man that wasn't 100% he saw a broken man and he saw a man that was being forced to take this fight by people around him that smile in his face, but don't have his best intentions at heart. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like Danny Garcia does, doesn't co-sign what his father says, even though he didn't say it, his father said it. So, and yeah, we all know that Angel Garcia is known for, you know, saying things, um, you know, sort of not ridiculous, but you know, he's he's he has developed this reputation of almost stealing the show from Danny Garcia. He's the mouthpiece, you know, and Danny's the muscle, so he can just say whatever he wants to say, and it's all cool, right? He writes checks for his son's ass to cash. Danny Garcia came up short against Sean Porter. Danny Garcia came up short against Keith Thurman. To me, Danny Garcia came up short against Lamont Peterson. And also he came up short against, uh, what's that one guy, Mar Marusio, in my opinion. And that still makes Danny Garcia a solid fighter with an iron chin and an iron body and, you know what I'm saying, a lion heart. So he gets respect. You know, I take nothing away from Danny Garcia. But Errol Spence needs to be, um, if it's, it's only one flaw to the Errol Spence story when it comes to the accident, and that is it was self-inflicted. 
And that also should still be inspirational because we are our own worst enemy most times. Even though we want to point the finger at everybody else and say everybody else is the problem. Usually the biggest problem in our lives individually is ourselves. We get in our own way of success. So, yeah, it would have been a different story if Errol Spence would have been driving from the gym versus driving from the club. If he was driving from the gym and some other uh, inebriated driver would have came and crashed into him. And Errol Spence would have went through the same recovery process and came back and fought and dominated Danny Garcia. Yeah, that would have been a little bit of a better comeback story. You can write a script off of that. So there is somewhat of a asterisk by the fact that he was, um, you know, self-inflicted. But at the same time, young human makes mistakes, learns from mistakes, corrects mistakes, and brings himself back to where he appreciates, he doesn't take for granted, he worked hard, he trained his ass off, and he came in and he proved the world, all the doubters of the world, he proved them wrong. And even though no matter how much you accomplish, there's always going to be some people that are born in a factory of clones, of haters. And no matter what you do, they're going to be clones of haters. And they can't help it. That's just the way they're made. Everybody else is going to be inspired, motivated, and they're going to use that as a beacon of light to guide themselves through this darkness. So 100% salute to Errol Spence and to like-minded individuals like Errol Spence that believe no matter what you go through, if you grind, if you work hard, if you do your best, you can be successful. That's what I'm about on this channel, period, point blank. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It's Nocturnal Thoughts, man. I appreciate y'all time. Congratulations to Errol Spence. Won that fight. And what was most impressive, there were so many things that was impressive about that fight. One of the most impressive things about that fight is that after his performance, he still rated himself a B. A B. Derrick James rated him an A for his ability to stay consistent, but he rated himself a B. Meaning that he's going to improve and why, why, why doubt that now? Why doubt anything that this man says now? If he can improve, if he can come back even better, sharper, stronger, better reflexes, better defense, more powerful jab, more powerful shots to the body. So he's going to come back even more dominant. If that's a B, can you imagine what an A what an A-class performance is going to look like and who it's going to look like against. Shouts out to all my subscribers, man. I really appreciate y'all family for rocking with me this long. You know what I'm saying? Staying in contact with me this long. Staying down. Staying solid. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. I keep doing my thing. I appreciate it. I'm out. Salute. Peace. Be blessed.